Well, we clinched the title with the win at Skopje. Before that, it was a really good campaign. Belaska got their revenge on us, beating us 3-2. But after we beat them in the cup semifinal, we beat Borak 4-1. We beat Bregelnica 3-1. Struga held us to a 1-0 victory. We absolutely thumped Gostovar 6-0. Um, and Mary had three goals. Vodic had a goal. Abaz had a goal. Against Skopje, we beat them 2-0. So we're playing Struga today. Um... And they are being relegated. So it could go either ways. Um, for the moment, I don't got to do this real quick. Uh, for uh, the season, Bodic led us with 32 goals. Boss has 7.35 rating. Nikolov had 16 assists. Mary had seven players of the match. And Danovsky had 15 yellow cards. Masevsky had four red cards. <sighs> yeah, he's not going to be back next season. So we got our numbers for next year. We have a 462,000 pound transfer budget and our payroll is going to be 40,000. Uh, currently we're spending 22 and I don't believe that's going to go any that much higher. I think the players we're going to lose are going to be more than enough money coming off and anybody we sign, unless they're very, very expensive. I can't really see us going past 27, 28,000. So um facilities wise we got excellent training facilities excellent youth facilities adequate academy coaching and good youth recruitment what i like what i need to do is we already expanded youth recruitment once this year i guess coaching is going to come as a part of that yeah increased junior coaching budget they said we had a golden generation in our youth and the more i looked at them the more i realized they were talking about a golden generation as compared to everyone else in the macedonian league because i just i don't know i i just oh some of them are like really really good and have a ton of potential but something also tells me their potential is going to be like you know 120 130 if that so it just it remains to be seen Entry wise, Stevanovsky's out, Kosevsky's out. And then player wise. Now, player wise, we're going to do this. We're going to start from scratch. The entire team is there. So we know we're going to have Kosevsky in goal. Gonna have Boz at the left. We're gonna put Bozanowski there. Gonna put Andowski there. Gonna put the Mary there. Marathi, we're gonna leave on the bench for the moment. Tsevsky. We're gonna put there. Ilyaski is going to be on the bench. Jankloff is gonna go. Jankalov is going to go there. Mr. Moski is going to go to the bench. Masevsky is going to go to the bench. Barty is going to go to the bench. Matthew Bolsonowski is going to go there. Bodic is up top because I absolutely missed him. Nikolov is going to go there. Tesaski, I would start at left, but he is injured. So that means Yalevsky has to start at left. This means my 16-year-old Jersey Marina is his substitute. Who else do I need? I need... Artalko on the bench as a midfield replacement. This is what we have. We're going to have Kosevsky and goal. Ilyevsky, Bosnovsky, Bosnovsky, and Jankalov as a defensive back four. And Donovsky as, as the defensive midfielder, rather, behind Kosevsky and Nikolev. Switch those two. Yeah. Abaz and Mary are the attacking mids and Vodic is up top as the striker. We're actually playing in our home stadium, but 
Druga is considered the home squad. Lazarevsky for Struga. Lozanovsky heads it down to a Boz. Boz feeds Ilyevsky. Ilyevsky is dispossessed by Kosov. Bekski back to Lazarevsky. He just bombs it forward. Jankalov heads it down to a Mary. Mary to Tisevsky. Tisevsky up to a Boz. A Boz takes the shot and he skies it into the stands. Hmm, 14,463 people here. That's not bad. Lazarevsky. Jankalov ends up with it, gets it to a Mary. Back to Jankalov, to Bozanovsky. He sends it all the way back to Kosevsky. He gets it to Bozanovsky. Nikolev kicks it too far. Kinovsky gets it to Lazarevsky, who I think either tripped over his own feet or just fell awkwardly on the ball. He just bombs it forward. And Anovsky gets it to a Mary. A Mary. Gives the ball away. We ended up with it again. There was a scrum in the middle of the field. Somehow Tosevsky ended up with it. Jankalov driving forward. Gives it to a Mary. Mary feeds Tosevsky. He centers it. Vodish was there. Couldn't get a foot on it. Nikolev is there. And it bounces off a Struga player and goes the opposite way past a diving keeper for the goal. That was a bit of luck. Bajic's shot was blocked. Nikolev hits it, and it hit this guy. It hit Veseski and went in for the goal. I don't, are they counting that as an own goal? No, they're calling it a Nikolev goal. Ilyevsky on the throw-in. Nikolev back to Ilyevsky. Gets it to Nikolev. Nikolevsky sends it in. Tosevsky's going to run it down. Gets the ball back to Jankloff. Jankloff sends it in, knocked away by Kami. And Donovsky ends up with it. He gets the ball to Nikolev. Nikolev to Ilyevsky. Ilyevsky and Anovsky. Back out to Jankolov on the right. Centers it to Kosevsky. Jankolov sends it in. A boss is there. He heads it over the crossbar. A little bit past a half hour. And Anovsky to Bodic. Back to Nikolev. He feeds Ilyevsky on the left. Ilyevsky's running forward. Holds it up. Passes to Nikolev up in the space, and Mary's there, and he puts it near post for his 22nd goal of the season. Like between him and Vodic, it's been it's been one of those seasons where we're not really relying on one player, we're relying on two, and that's I'm okay with that. Oh, what's half going on here? Bozanovsky heads it down to Nikolev. Nikolev to Tosevsky. Out to a Boz. Boz centers it to a Mary, takes the shot, and he skies it. Bozanovsky, Ananovsky, up to Tosevsky. Mary gets by the defender, drives forward. Oh, he tries centering it, but Asini knocks it away. And Mary. Back to Jankalov. Jankalov feeds a Mary. Mary to Tosevsky. Centers it. Nikolov's there and he puts it far post for his second of the game. Well, it'd be his near post, wouldn't it? Good job by Tosevsky. Oh, and Onyamachi went out for them. The Nikolov has a brace of goals, and Mary has a goal. We are 3 0 up on 17 shots set on target. They've had one shot. Lazarevsky into the crowd. Bodich ends up with it. It's the ball to a Mary. Bodich ends up with it. One of my guys was tripped, but they're not calling it. Ilyevsky. Back to Nikolev. Nikolev feeds Ilyevsky to Nikolev. And Anoski. Tosevsky takes the shot. Nice save by Lazarevsky. Corner kick. Bozanovsky near post. Nope. I'm not going to make any subs. Everyone seems to be doing okay so far. A Boz. Anonovsky to Nikolev. Back to Anonovsky. Tosevsky top of the box. Feeds a Mary. And Lazarevsky another nice save. 
Ilyevsky gets the ball away from Mac. Boz. Ilyevsky. Boz. And Anofsky. Out to Ilyevsky. To a Boz. Oh, he skies his shot high and right. Jake Loth. And Anofsky. Lozanovsky. Out to Nikolev. Centers it to Ilyevsky. Back to Bosnowski and Anofsky. Kosevsky to Mary. He's going to get out to Jankalov all alone on the right. Jankalov holds it up. Tries crossing it in. He bounces it off Ramau. Ramau sends it forward. Bosnowski has it down to Andonovsky. Kosevsky to Nikolev. Nikolev to a Boz. Kimi just has it down to Lazarevsky. A lot of highlights. Oh, Kotevsky got by the defenders and he puts it far post. That was mildly frustrating. None of my guys went up for the header. And for some reason, OBS is having issues with the recording. I think it's recording me fine. It's just it's... I don't know. I've been having some issues with OBS lately. I haven't been too impressed. And Mary hits it wide. That whole issue with my mic a couple episodes still has me frustrated. Sevsky, Nikolev. Misses out on his hat trick. And that is the match. The 3-1 victory. We win the Macedonian Cup again. Well done, everyone. A good win for us. Let me save this here real quick. Okay, well, we received 17,000 pounds for the victory. The board is quite happy because we're two years ahead of schedule. Nikolov had a very good game. Breeze to the press conference here. Talk to bonuses, 9K. Should be able to spread that out a little bit. Nikolov got 1,000 pounds for winning the cup. I switched this earlier, but it obviously did not take. The season in review. Saying so Barty's a C. Krzyzewski was a C. Rustamowski was a C. Rista Grosnowski, they're saying, is a C. Samuel Ibrahimovic, they're saying, is an A. But he is the guy who's here on the 100,000 pound uh, Optional fee, and we're not going to pick that up. Our biggest win was a 6 0 against Gustavar. Our match to remember was a 6 3 against Scoopy. The goal of the season was Elise's goal from 22 yards in the 4 1 victory against Boric. No new sponsorship deals. Our money was up across the board. Sponsorship was up. Broadcast was up. That's because we were in so many games. Uh, corporate and hospitality went up. Competition prize money went way up. 253,000 pounds from commercial. The 5.64 is from how well we did in the Euro Cup. Uh, Mary was the fantasy player of the season, body young player of the season, and Mary signing of the season. Elise had the goal of the season. Bodic, top goal scorer with 32. Nikolov had 17 assists, and Mary, seven players of the match. A boss, a 7.4 rating. Set a record for cup goals. And a new average rate, a new average attendance. 4,500 in the, in the uh, cup. Best 11. O'Mary was added. Season review. It's quite good. Club Visions and Expectations. I'm currently on board with that. End of season team meeting. 
This is what I don't get. Joe Val, okay, he's he's Brazilian. He can't play for us. We can't sign foreign players. So we'll wait for the Euro Cup and that to end. That's I think that's when we'll finally get all the prize money and stuff like that from that. I think that's when that's dispersed. Because we don't have it now. Unless they already dispersed it, 4.34. Well, maybe they did and I missed it. Because there's that. Goal wise, Vodas led us overall with 32 goals and 42 appearances. I mean, Three off the bench. Hit four, six, six players in the match. O'Mary, 22 goals, nine assists, seven players in the match. Marathi had an all around good season, 11 goals, 11 assists, two players in the match. Emil Vaz, 10 goals, 13 assists, six, six players in the match. Deshmir Alizi, nine goals, two assists in 18 appearances, 16 off the bench. Uh, Nikolev, nine goals, 17 assists, three players in the match. Lisevsky, seven goals, four assists, two players in the match. Ristoff, five goals, two assists, one player in the match. Ilyevsky had five goals, one assist, one player of the match. Ivanov had three. Anonovsky had three, five, and two. So we really kind of spread it out. In terms of goals, we had four guys in double digits. In assists, we had three guys in double digits and one guy with nine. All around, good season. Getting as far as we did in the cup was just absolutely phenomenal. That still boggles me. I'm still mind-boggled by that. That's with the board. Okay. I convinced him to spend more money on the uh, youth coaching. I think that's one of the other things we're going to look at doing this offseason is seeing if I can't increase the number of coaches we have here. And if I can't increase the number of coaches, I'd like to be able to increase their salary because we need some better quality coaches. Skandar's ruled out for at least seven months. That's not good. The Euro Cup final is Napoli at Atalanta on the 29th. And I think when that's done, that is when the money in that gets dispersed. So, you know, we're going to pause right here and come back for that in just a sec. You know, we set a new average tennis record, 6,700, which is good. It's a lot better than it was the first year when we went, the average tennis was like 3,300. Uh, Herich, who is the keeper for Tickfest, set the shutout record with 16. Drzejewski won the Macedonian player of the season because he had 15 goals, 10 assists, and 7.65 rating. Interesting. I would have thought of Boz. Had a good chance of winning that, if not him, a Mary, if not him, Vodic, but okay. We scooped uh, Vodic, however, gets the top goal scorer award, and he was the young player of the season. Uh, I went ahead and coached this season. We had one, two, three, four, five players in the team of the year. I uh, received 195,000 pounds from Euro Cup television revenue, we received another 110,000 pounds for coefficient ranking. Atalanta won. We were the biggest overachievers. I'm still flabbergasted by that. And three teams on six points, and we won on the fourth tiebreaker. And then we managed to get the knockout round. That was just... We couldn't replicate that if we tried. I mean, we're going to try next season, but I don't think we're going to get that far. I like to go a little bit farther than the Champions League, but that depends on who we're playing. You know, we've run into some really good teams, and we had a bit of luck on our side a couple of those games. So, uh, we won head coach of the year and our scouting update. I don't know why I'm getting all these players. I'm not scouting these guys. I mean, they're just showing up. If I, go, I mean, if we go and we look at my scouting, analyze next opposition. Uh, North Macedonia, he's um, looking at squad players. North Macedonia, no current assignment for him. And North Macedonia. 
you know, and then um, I got one more who was my performance analyst that just got re-signed, who is going to be scouting next off next, uh, or he's scouting next off uh, position. Um, I had Toronto, but I pulled him off to go scout some of the uh, European European teams we're playing. So, you know, we'll take care of that here before the end of the season. Now, the question is, when does the next season start up? And we can go back to last season to kind of show that. We're going to get through this here real quick. Well, first we're going to look at this. So everybody from there to Ibrahimovic is probably going to be gone. If I can move a couple other players, I will. Gusevsky may be one of them. We re-signed Vodic. We look at it from a salary point of view. O'Mary is our highest paid player, and I'm okay with that. Rostanovsky is second. Bosnovsky is third. Darko Masevsky. I'm going to try and move. I just, yeah, he's three star, three star potential, but four red cards is just annoying. So, I just I got some difficult choices to make. And hopefully the talent pool out there has grown enough that we're not going to be losing a ton of quality. One of the things that is going to happen next season is players like um, Ilyeski and Tosevsky are going to get a lot more starts. Grosinowski is going to get a lot more starts if he's not the starter. Uh, Tisevsky will be the starting defensive left back. I'll need to bring it back up for him. Ristoff. Ristoff, I'm going to have to take a look at. I will probably move him if only because I have better, younger players. In particular, um, I was just looking right at him. Ilyeski. Although I might keep Ristoff. And Ilyevsky. I'll go three deep at the at the right back position. O'Mary will be the starter. Marati will be the starter. Boz will be the starter. Although at the left back, at the advanced midfielder on the left position. I'm mean, going to need to start working somebody in. At one point in time, I thought of making Ilyevsky a... Uh, advanced midfielder on the left, but he is a better inverted winger on the right. If we look at, if we look at Boz, Rustamoski is his backup, and I'm okay with that. I would just like to have a younger player. Right now, that player is Skindary, but he is just not that good. Yeah, it's nice he has four-star potential, but I'm uh, not buying that. Not for a moment. Moreno might actually get a few starts as well. Yeah, he's 16 years old. He'll be 17 when the season... I believe he'll be 17 when the season starts. Now he'll turn 17 right after the season starts. I should probably get a little more aggressive on loaning some players out, too. I need to... You know what? That's something we can try and do, is get another affiliate. I've got a fourth division affiliate right now. I'm going to leave it up to them. If only to see how well they do. Although I do have a list of teams who have good facilities and things like that. We'll see what happens. So, that said, it was a hugely successful season. We have an overall balance of $3.8 million. Our profit this year was $1.4. We've got almost all of our good young players coming back. All of our good older players are staying with a couple of exceptions, probably. And we've really set ourselves up well for next year. I still have to make some moves in the transfer market, more for depth than anything else. I also have to get rid of some of the deadwood on, ooh, excuse me, deadwood on the squad with um, some of these players who just aren't going to turn out. So this offseason, at least for me, is probably going to take a little bit longer, maybe two or three days, as opposed to the eight or nine hours it normally takes for me. 
So that said, oh, well, you know what? Let's see who wins the uh, championship. Bayern is playing Man City, and Holland ended up at Bayern. So, you know, the rich keep getting richer. We'll take a look at when the season starts. Bayern won on extra time. Okay. New contracts set to expire. I bring back Amini. I probably should. Amini will offer a contract to. We'll just make it a year. Kofsky, he's my defensive left back. Backup will offer him a year contract as well. Oh, I just agreed to send him out on loan. That's what I get for clicking. The staff contracts, I don't have to look at these guys too. And the youth contracts, those guys just all lack potential. They're all D's and they haven't gotten any better. So I'm going to save this here, and we are going to call this an episode, a really good season for us. I don't expect us to replicate it tomorrow, but if we come tomorrow, the next season, but if we come close, I'm going to be quite happy with that. I'm going to be really happy with that. So we're going to call this here, and if you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I'll answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. Thank you very much for watching.